Thank you for joining me. This is the Deanna Troop channel. I am Deanna Troop, and in today's episode, I am going to be doing a tutorial on a Pinterest using the keyword tracker for my Tutorial Tuesday segment. If this is content that interests you, please make sure to remember to like this com content, comment on it, and share it as well as subscribe to it. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's dive right into today's content. So I found out from watching my one of my YouTube friends, uh, Karen Merrill's video, that Pinterest actually has a keyword track, a um, keyword tool rather, that will help you with your keyword research when you're trying to figure out what to do your videos on. And this to me was huge because, uh, so a little backstory, I was used to using Google's keyword tool, but for whatever reason, they decided to get rid of it. So I was completely lost as to uh, a free tool that I can use to brainstorm my YouTube videos, blog posts, etc. So when I saw Karen's video about this, I knew I had to try it and record uh, my own little short tutorial just about this tool. So here we go. So at first you'll go, now one thing I do need to mention before I get started is that you do have to have a business account to use this tool. And I'll go over how to set up a business account in another video. Right now, I just want to show off this awesome uh, tool for you. So you'll go into your account and click on ads. We're not going to actually create an ad, but we're just going to click on ads and click create ad. But we're still not creating an ad. This is just the way you have to get to the keyword tool. Um, and I was just playing around with it here. So since I want to start a new one, I'm just going to hit cancel. And so first it asks you, what is your business goal? You can use it to build awareness, uh, get views to videos, or drive traffic to various des destinations on or off uh, Pinterest. You can drive people to your website to get them to take particular actions. You can even use it to promote your products with uh, various shopping ads. So right now my goal, I'm, we're just going to play like the goal is to add traffic. So um, you would name it. We're just going to leave it at, as that since again, we're really not creating an ad. So we're going to hit continue. And wait for the computer to do its thing. Now here is the part that I'm excited about. The keywords tool. So we're going to just put a niche in here. Mine is uh, work from home. If it'll, oh, it's wanting me to add some interest. So I'm just going to click on uh, a couple of interests here. Since I do target mom, I'm going to go ahead and click on parenting. And it should let me go in here now. So the keyword I'm going to be targeting is uh, work at home. And then you press enter. And you get all these keywords here about work at home. So like work at home ideas, as you see it's got five million plus monthly searches so i'm gonna click on that and it pops it over here they want you to use a minimum of 25 so i'm going to just scroll down and see what else i can find jobs from home that's a good one it's also got five million plus uh, and working home working from home with kids i'm going to add that to it and we're going to just keep going until we get to the minimum of 25 keywords. So we've got um, how to work from home with kids, how to work from home, online jobs, tips for working from home, 
work from home jobs, work from home opportunities, creative jobs from home, working from home tips. And see, it even tells you uh, how many you have. So you'll know how many you have to go. Let's see what else we got. Part-time jobs from home, work from home careers, work online from home, work from home online. Let's see, oh, work from home organization, that'll be good. Working from home part-time, ways to work from home, jobs to do from home, that's also a good one. A lot of people are looking for jobs they can do at home. Let's see what else we got. Work from home mom. It's also 5 million plus. So all of these have a good number of search uh, volume here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, work from home companies will be good because people are always looking for companies that hire work at home uh, employees. Let's see what else we got. Work from home legitimate. Real work from home jobs. Let's see what else we got. Easy work from home jobs. And we just need one more. Um, at home jobs for moms. So this simple tool has given you 25 keywords that you can use in your video. And now um, what you can do next, since we're really not running an ad, we just wanted the keywords, you just copy. And if you feel like it, you can do more than 25. I was just doing 25 because it was the uh, bare minimum. So you just copy it and then paste it into your document, you know, into like your no your notepad or Google Drive or what have you, and then save it, and you've got your list of keywords that you can use to create your videos around. So that is today's tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comment section if there's any other types of tutorials you'd like to see me make. So um, thank you for watching. And until next time, live while you hustle.